Hi, this is Brian with Holly Puna Real Estate here with another weekly update of luxury homes here on the island of Oahu. And when we're talking about luxury homes on Oahu, we're speaking of a price range roughly about $3 million or, or higher. And pretty exciting week. Seven new listings that some really, in my opinion, some very incredible homes uh, were listed this past week. And then I will also cover up four homes that sold this past week as well. And first, we're going to start with this home in uh, Mokalea. And this is over on the north shore of Oahu. If you're not familiar with the area, it's uh, just north of uh, Wailua, also past Holly, but it's right this kind of area right here, right, right along the shoreline. And this is a uh, single family home, about 3,600 square feet, almost two uh, acres of land, listed at 3.25 million, three bed, three four bath, uh, excuse me, three full baths. Um, originally built in 1988, was remodeled this year. And there's a video tour that I'll be entering the link in the description of this video. And here are some pictures. This is some of the most beautiful uh, parts of the island. Uh, very peaceful, tranquil. A lot of homes have fairly large lot, lots. So this is the main road here. You will get some traffic there but it's not too bad. Then Haleiwa is just over this area right over here. And wonderful surfing along here, good snorkeling. Yeah, beautiful home. And if you really want to see the rest of the pictures or uh, just check out the video tour, again, I'll put the link in the video description. And here we have a home in Manoa area. This is a, a home that was built in 1937, remodeled in 2021. If you're not familiar with Manoa, it's just outside the Honolulu area. Um, beautiful valley, very prestigious, um, has, some, has some really uh, beautiful homes. This is actually two homes on the property. So a total of six uh, beds three full two and a half baths. One home is uh, three bedrooms, uh, two and a half baths. The other home is uh, three bedrooms and uh, one and a half baths. Fairly large lot size, 15,000 square feet, listed at 3.65 million. Total square footage is uh, 2,400, about over 2,400 of a living space. Not too many pictures, just a few. It's, I don't know if, if I liked it, how they did the interior. Um, Cause you have obviously the uh, kind of a classical older look. And then they went this modern inside. Like me personally, I probably would have wanted to have kept some of the original um, interior woodwork and stuff. And this is uh, so just a picture of the second house. But given that, given that the lot size remodeled at 3.65, I think that uh, seems priced pretty pretty well. Here we have a home in uh, Kailua Beachside. Uh, this home was in 1952. It's pretty much in original condition. Four bed, three full bath. Price home was at 3.8 million. Just under 1,600 square feet. Fairly large lot size of about 13,600. Very close to the beach. Really, you know, kind of older custom, neat characteristics in my opinion, exposed beams. Really large backyard with a pool area, plenty of rec space for recreational use. go. All right, moving on. Um, home in Kailua, 1212 Mokalua Oceanfront, 6.25 million, 
seven be seven beds, five full baths, a little over 5,100 square feet of living space, and pretty spacious lot, almost 12,000 square feet. This is an interesting property. <clears throat> Not too often uh, homes on oceanfront Lanikai uh, come on the market. This could be refreshed a little bit, but it's actually, I guess you can almost consider it two homes. I'll show you in a moment the configuration of the property. Yeah, the Moaks Island here. I mean, what a wonderful view. A lot of people uh, from Kailua Beach or the Waimanalo either kayak, um, some stand up paddle board paddle over to the Moaks to paint on weather conditions. And according to the listing agent, this home has been with the same owners for, I think, about 30 years. So hopefully the kitchen has been updated a little bit. But boy, what a stellar view. So this is the second part of the house. And I'll, they're going to show you, send you a little overhead shot here. So this is the entire property here. So really, this it's all connected, but this could be treated as one property or one residence, and this is, it would be the other residence here. And there is a video here, um, so I'll include this uh, in the link. And I apologize for bad information. So it's actually been the same family for 60 years, uh, built in 1924, remodeled in 2017. I'd be very curious. I, I think I have a client who may be interested in, in this property. We'll see, see what happens in the next few days. Another interesting property here in Diamond Head, so built in 1950, was last remodeled in 1969. Very large home, 8,500 square feet. Also very large lot size, almost 37,000 square feet. This is located in a very prestigious um, Diamond Head Circle neighborhood, which just abuts uh, the base of uh, Diamond Head on the west side. So 6.5 million. Look at that though, needs major repair. So they're asking for 6.5 million for a home that needs extensive uh, work. But private, this is all the, the slope of Diamond Head right here behind the house. Could be an incredible home if someone was just willing to uh, spend the money, which I'm sure someone will come along. This is a very quiet area, but very accessible to uh, Waikiki, Honolulu some nice beaches. Yeah, very interesting to see what that's going to sell for. Next, another extraordinary property, another home in Lanikai. This is um, actually not even ocean for so 13.8 million. Uh, it's a four bed, four and a half bath, just built this year, almost 4,500 square feet. Lot size is a little over 13,000 square feet. And this is on the hillside of Lanikai and it, just looks like it was uh, exceptional quality and uh, craftsmanship for this new home. Great indoor outdoor living space here. With... Just beautiful. When I first saw the list price, you know, I kind of question it, but um, a brand new home in Lanikai, it's just not, not too common. And this kind of square footage, location, um, these kind of views. I have an elevator. Yeah, someone might come along and just say this is a must have. Because it's very difficult for multiple reasons to build homes like this on a wall. It takes usually a lot of time. Permit process, really neat wine cellar there. Yeah, very neat. There is a video here, so I'll be uh, attached to that as well. Another stellar home here. This is over in the uh, Kainani Diamond Head area, kind of on your way to. Uh, Hawaii Kai, I'll just show it out here. So it is 
Let me just zoom in here. Right in this area, right over here. And this is a four bed, three and a half bath, priced at 15.8 million. Large home, 6,700 square feet, large lot, over 21,000 square feet, right on the coastline. Completely different vibe from Lanikai Oceanfront. Got a little beach area there. This is a very convenient location to Hawaii Kai. You can probably be in Hawaii Kai in 10 minutes where there's a Costco, some great restaurants. Um, and you can also be in Waikiki in about 10 minutes or Kahala Mall in probably less than 10 minutes. Kahala Mall has a Whole Foods. Yeah, and you're just gonna get some magnificent sunsets from this area. We'll see, I have a hunch this will probably be on the market for quite a while, but uh, it is a magnificent home and there's a video that I'll be including. All right, moving on to sold properties. Uh, this is a uh, Waikai, the Triangle area, and that is, that home was located like right around here. So a lot of people just all, all call this area like Portlock, but yeah, this is kind of like the Portlock area. Excuse me for that doing it all through here, triangles up here, and over here is called Coco Kai. All very prestigious area. This was on 64 days on the market, just sold above list price. And Hawaii Kai, this whole area is still active, despite, you know, some could argue, you know, that maybe the economy is slowing, but obviously higher interest rates are having an impact. There's still a lot of things selling above list price. Uh, and this is a home that was four beds, four baths, 3,200 square feet, almost 11,000 square foot lot. This home was in really good condition. Pretty spacious uh, living room kitchen area. The diamond head, you have Waikiki right over here. From this house to Waikiki, maybe 20 minutes or so, no traffic. Yeah, beautiful views. Okay, moving on to the next sold property. Beachside, look at that, almost a million dollars above this price, 16 days on the market. Um, this is five beds, three and a half baths, a little over 3,300 square feet, 10,000 square foot lot. I covered this not too long ago. Um, this lot had room for a pool. Yeah, you could do a pool back here. Really amazed uh, what it sold for. Good shot there of uh, access to the beach. But all in all, inventory is very tight for quality homes on Oahu. And yeah, someone definitely uh, wanted this home. Another uh, nice home. This is a uh, Guadalupe Beach, kind of uh, between Waikiki and Hawaii Kai. Just sold uh, just below this price. 129 days on the market. Large home, nine beds, eight full baths, 6,100 square feet. Nice large lot, almost 29,000 square feet. This is an uh, ocean front as well. And so I live a circle, this is right here. So that last home that I discovered, well, the, the home I covered recently at 15.8 million, that's right over here. Why well, circle is a very prestigious area to live as well.
And there's a few tour as well if you want to just get a complete tour. But that's uh, that's the kind of home that six, almost seven million dollars will get you over in uh, that part of uh, Oahu. And lastly, um, not a home. This is just a great example of how valuable lot land is in Hawaii, uh, well, particularly Oahu. So here you have a forty-two thousand, almost a one-acre lot. Uh, sold just $100,000 below this price, $8.8 .8 million for just a, an oceanfront lot. It's incredible, huh? And then, then you have to figure out the time to get permits to build, might be two or three years, and the cost to build. I mean, it could easily be a, well, definitely $12, 14 million dollar home, even higher, depending on what type of properties built, but remarkable just for that much land for 8.8 .8 million. Well, that is your update. I'd be very curious if you want to leave in comment sections, what was your favorite home um, for this week? And as I mentioned always, um, if you have any questions about any properties here in Oahu, please contact me anytime. Um, I'm here to serve you for uh, whatever you need to have regarding real estate on Oahu. Thanks for watching and uh, I wish you well.